This group, Caliber 3, from Israel, training Americans uh, in counterterrorism. What kind of a need is there for that in this country? There's a tremendous need for that. We know the history. Take a look what's happening in Europe. Look at the attacks in London, in Paris, and around the world where Jews are, again, victims. They can't walk in the street. You can't walk, wear a yarmulke. You can't identify openly as a Zionist. And because of this wonderful program, this will not happen in America. You know that uh, if we, uh, people think about it. 20 years ago, nobody would imagine that Jews would not be able to live openly and comfortably as Jews in Europe. We don't want this to happen in the United States of America. And thank God, because of this program, yeah. we're gonna, uh, teaching American Jews yeah. how to take care of themselves. It won't happen here. What about the politics involved in police forces, uh, municipalities, uh, pressuring not to do anything that's supportive of Israel or uh, counter to the Palestinian narrative? Well, l let me tell you something. This, this narrative is ridiculous. There's on the only look-alike to the United States of America anywhere in the Middle East is a small place called the State of Israel. If we really, if we really value American values, freedom, the right to say and believe as you please, the only country that comes close to the United States as a twin sister would be the state of Israel. So those knocking Israel are really knocking America because Israel is a twin of the United States of America. And these representatives of the Israeli style of uh, counterterrorism? Absolutely. Listen, in the United States of America, uh, you know, we don't want you know, Americans get up every morning and they, we, we honor, for example, not only Independence Day, we honor Memorial Day. We know that 400,000 American troops gave their lives, that there shouldn't be, that the Nazis shouldn't come here to North America. And how do, those, those 400,000 soldiers gave their lives defending America. So when people come here and they want to defend make sure that Americans are prepared and that Americans are not going to be overtaken by terrorists and that Jews will be allowed to walk in the streets, any street in America, with their yarmulkes, with their tzitzes out if they wish to. That's only possible if we have the protection and the philosophy that these young men in back of me represent. Thank you very much. Thank you.